Hey everyone, welcome back to Joe's Bibles. I am Joe, and on this channel I do Bible reviews, I do interviews. Actually, I've only done two, but I, I think I'm going to do more. I do interviews, and I also do videos about how to engage with your Bible. And today I'm going to share with you my one color marking system that I'm using for this, my The One Bible. So let's jump into the video. Okay, as I mentioned in a previous video, this is my V1 Bible. This is the ESV Schuyler Quintel with a full yap in marble mahogany, uh, marble mahogany calfskin. Um, and as I mentioned in, in that video, uh, go click on that video right up here. Uh, this is my The One Bible. This is the one Bible that will be with me for the rest of my life, or at least for the next 365 days. Now, when I read through the Bible, I like to engage with the text. And the primary way that I do that is by underlining and marking with a pen, a highlighter, and a ruler. And these are my primary tools. This is my pen, Pigma Micron 05, yellow mild liner, and then a ruler. So these are my primary tools. This is what I like to use when I'm going through the Bible and engaging with the text. For this read through, um, so right now I'm doing the New Testament. I got that from Jason Mayfield as well as the Old Testament in three months that I put together uh, through Logos. For these read-throughs, uh, I am only using one color, which is yellow. So again, I'm using the Pigma Micron. This is for underlining. Then I'm using the Mild Liner for highlighting. And then I use a ruler because I'm OCD. OCD! Why am I only going to stick with one color? Well, there are advantages to it. And let me tell you uh, or share with you advantage number one. I find that when I'm reading through the Bible quickly, I don't want to stop for a long time and think through which colors I need to use. I am also working on a color code system that uses nine to ten colors, which is this one. I'm, I'm working on it and you can see these are the different subjects that I am I'm trying to figure out the color for. Uh, and these 9 to 10, you can see these 9 to 10 colors are going to be, or, or it's going to have different subjects. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm working on that system, uh, but that has a different purpose. So with this system, these multicolored ones, uh, I use this for my wide margin, which I use in the morning at a much slower pace. But when I'm doing a quick read through, like I am with this Bible, I just want to quickly mark up words or verses to engage with the text and then move on. Uh, so what am I underlining? I underline keywords uh, or repeated words, like you could see here, the gospel or gospel, uh, key phrases to deliver us from the present evil age, or and and or key verses like Galatians 2.20, which is very meaningful for me. This is my life verse. So that's what I do with the one color, with the yellow, is to highlight very quickly or underline really quickly key words, repeated words, uh, key verses, popular verses, um, meaningful verses like this one. This is Galatians 2.20 again. And it's both a popular verse as well as a meaningful verse for me. Here is advantage number two of using just one color. And this is more specific to the color yellow uh, because yellow is, it's enough of a color to make words or verses stand out and pop out, but it's not so distracting that it gets in the way of reading. So I'm going to read through this again, and you can see here uh, the underlines that I did. It's enough there. The color yellow is enough that it pops out, but it's not so distracting that when I read through it again, it gets in the way. The yellow is like there, but it's not there. Here is advantage number three uh, of using just one color. When I read through this Bible again next year, which I said I'm going to start January 1st, that yellow color is not going to get in the way in case I want to write or mark on top of it. So here we are in Luke chapter 19. I'm, I'm working on this passage and... 
hopefully making this into a, a sermon next year or soon. But you can see there's yellow highlighting there, and I could easily go on top of it with a black pen or a black color or even another darker color. So maybe next year in my next read through, uh, if I stay with the same yellow color and then I begin to introduce my nine to 10 color system, this guy, let's say I finish this up uh, and I lock it in. If I go back into this Bible next year, which I will, uh, these colors can easily go on top of it. So colors like purple and green and red, brown, blue, even orange will do well on top of this yellow. So to add other colors on top of this yellow will not be a problem at all. So anyway, I, that's it. That's it for this video. I just wanted to share, share quickly uh, what I'm doing with my The One Bible, that I'm sticking with one color and using highlighting with this mild liner, underlining with this Pigma Micron in yellow, and then using my ruler because again, I am OCD. Let me know if you've just used one color uh, as a primary or as an only uh, highlighting or color system. And, uh, and yeah, just generally, what do you do with your Bible? Do you mark it up? Do you highlight it? How many colors do you use? Uh, I really want to hear from you. Leave a comment below, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and please subscribe to this channel. See you later, OCD.